And now I'm pulling my feet, pulling it back like that. but it's a very good stretch on your back. It will align your this, lower back, all that. So from there, your right, I'm sorry, your left uh, feet is going to be on top of your right leg. Your right hand is going to grab your left knee and then I'm turning to my right side. So left and top of right, Right hand is grabbing my left knee and I'm turning slowly towards the right side. And it's a swab. There you go. Oh, cool. No, no, the other side. So, yeah. This is the other leg. This leg goes under. Under, grab it. No, okay, grab it. Oh, believe it. Okay. Yes. And you should feel the stretch on your on your back, right? Feel the stretch on your back. Oh, there you go. Sorry, sorry. Slowly rotate to the middle, grab your legs. Now we're doing the opposite. Left, on the right, right hand, grab your left, right, left feet, and pull your leg like that. And just stay there for a little bit. You can bring it down.
is to rotate 180. is uh, you're contracting and expanding the back. Very good exercise. It's called the cat and the dog. And slowly bring your pelvis down. And up. Ponle ahora la cadera hacia abajo y mira hacia arriba. Y si puedes, las manos rectas, tu brazo recto, si puedes, si no. Again, looking down and stretching your back. Very good. Build this down and look up. Alright, from there, what I'd like you to do is to slowly And now move your hands forward as far as you can. And now I want you to start moving forward, but inhale, move forward, and halfway you want to start excelling. And moving forward. Inhale, right forward, and slowly you're gonna start dropping the, your hip until you become you get into a cover position. Suave, and slowly push yourself back.
again, forward. Inhale. And just slowly exhale from the pelvis. Remember, the back and the hip is the middle of the body. The hip is the middle of the body, so it has to be flexible. Your back has to be strong and flexible. And slowly push yourself back. Last time, going forward, inhale. to be for your back, your legs, um, and your arms. But it, this is one of the reasons that we want to go slowly so your body can warm up. So um, we're going to go up. Right, right, I'm sorry, we're going to be like this. Your left hand is going to be on your left heel. Right, hand, right arm is going to go straight. Right? And you can move it back. So I'm going to demonstrate. Left, on my left heel, arm straight. And from there, slowly come up and rotate. This now your body's warm up. I'm gonna start getting a lot of oh. okay, cool. Well, I don't want to kill you, but no, okay. So, right knee forward, el pie que quede así. So we're going to break the exercise, this exercise in three parts. The first part is that I want you to move forward with your broken arms and you're stretching all your head forward. So move your head forward, <coughs> cross, and now this is the part we're all going to believe that we're NFL players. Right? And stretch, the more you stretch, the more you fit it over here, right? Okay, second part of the exercise is your hands are going to be in your kneecaps. Back is straight. With, uh, now I'm pushing myself back. I'm pushing myself yeah, back. Now all this tension is gone. Lift your heel. Go like this. I promise I will come back to another class. All right, this hand, you're going to grab your right feet. And at this point, this leg that is in the back is actually moving a little bit to the middle. And I'm going to sit with my leg straight if I can. Okay, so now that it's bent, then that the leg is bent. You're gonna sit 
the, with the leg is straight. So from there, I'm going to keep the, the leg straight and I'm sitting, sitting. You got it on the chest. There you go. Easy peasy. exercise that we're going to do, we're still going to focus on the hip and it's called the frog pose. The point of the exercise is to keep your feet flat as you put your pelvis on the floor. Okay? Uh, I, I will show it to you. Your feet are flat like that. Alright, uh, now what I'd like you to do is to move forward, I mean sorry, back, 
And the way you do that is the raise the one. Oh. Slowly one. Okay, and then from there, bring your knees closer. Okay. Are we good? Right, don't move me. Okay, no. Continuing with flip your head. Okay? And like I said, I said I promise you I will do a lot of exercises for the head. So put your hands in there. Now what I'd like you to do is you move your body weight to your left side and I want you to so this is your head and it has two sockets, right? And that socket is the finger, the, the, the bone of your leg. So what I'd like you to do is to rotate and feel that you're putting the weight on that hole, on that socket. Rotate and stay in that position. So part of the problem with the hip as you get older is that you lose some flexibility. And you lose flexibility because you don't move. You spend a lot of time sitting down. You start spending a lot of time sitting down, you become less flexible, and through time it becomes you end up having problems. Opposite side. Middle. Okay, now we're gonna go back. When you go back, make sure you're looking straight. So move your hip back, look the straight. No, no, okay, straight. No, look straight. Okay, now middle, heel forward, and coming up. <laughs> Left. If 
due to a lot of martial arts, if you play soccer, um, if you are German class, you're gonna be doing a lot of these exercises. And it's because if you're an to specific sports and you have to move freak, I mean like fast, you need to have flexibility of the hip. you get older and there are people that get a hip replacement, right? They get they get surgery and they get a hip replacement. The hip, re hip replacement will help, but it only lasts for 10 years. After 10, 10, 12 years, you have to get another hip replacement. So why don't you just exercise, make the ligaments stronger, and you don't have to go through all of that. Okay, middle, all right. Back, looking straight. Middle, forward, and back and relax. I can guarantee that your hip feels a lot more flexible now, right? Probably your body feels a lot more uh, lighter. Okay, so now what I'd like you to do is leave your leg, left leg in there, your right is gonna go over. Right goes over. And slowly drop your body weight. Just like that. And relax. Eight, 
nine, ten, one, two, three, four, last one, five. Okay. Your heels at an angle. Slowly rotate to your right side. Inhale, middle, your left. Inhale, middle, back. Inhale, and middle, back. to your right side. I promise you the horse is over. We're almost done. Okay? So now, I'd like you to do is to bring it right here on the top. Just up. Up. Down. Up. Up. Down. One more time. Up.
done, you can just lay it down, head facing downward.